As most FM players have heard by now, Belarusian former footballer Maxim Sokalka, who earned legendary status with fans of the most popular Championship Manager 2001-2002 series, under the name Maxim Sokalko, has died at the age of 37. As the older players of Championship Manager and Football Manager will remember Maxim, who earned iconic status among legion of football fans for his remarkable performances on the 2001-2002 edition of the Championship Manager, where he was held as the game's greatest ever player for his incredible value for money for players who opted for him as a bargain buy. £900,000 Belarusian bargain buy who would guarantee your side 50 plus goals a season. Sikalko himself was unaware of his star status and only discovered it when a Russian journalist told him about it years later. By that time, he had retired following a serious injury at the age of 26 and worked as a construction builder. We at FM Scout thought we should honour this FM legend, so we asked Pro if he could make a database with Maxim as the young 19-year-old star we all remember he was. His attributes has been transferred into Football Manager 2021 and you can buy him from his original team Dynamo Minsk for pennies, literally, and watch him set the world alight once more, just a throwback to our memory. So, R.I.P. Maxim Tukalko, you will live in our memories and saves and thank you for the memories. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to FM Scout. It is RDF from FM Scout and today's video is going to be a little special one. We have a tribute for Maxim Tukalko. Now, as you heard in the intro, he gave us some great memories in the previous versions of the Championship Manager game, especially in the 2001 and 2002 series. He was 19 back then and he was available for around 900k and here he is in Football Manager 2021 thanks to Pro. So don't forget, the link for this database will be in the description, you guys can download it. It's just the original database with Maxim Tukalko added in the game and he has his championship manager 0102 attributes and we can see here how great he was so what we're going to do is maybe play around three seasons let's see if he can replicate some of the statistics that he was getting in the championship manager game now some of those statistics as you saw in the screenshots were just outrageous he was scoring literally thousands and thousands of goals in his career so far, he's just got 11 and 20 for Dynamo Minsk, but we are RB Leipzig. And what we're going to do, well, first of all, we have to sign him. So we are going to ask the agent for his availability. And you can see he is available between 675k and 1.4 million. His attributes, his corners are on 8, crossing 6, dribbling 4, which is fairly poor. But his finishing is on 20. His first touch is on 15 technique on 17 he's an aggressive player with the aggression on 17 bravery on 12 his composure is on 17 decision making on 14 determination very high his flair is very high off the ball is okay on 14 teamwork vision and work rate are all okay but his physical attributes are amazing absolutely out of this world his acceleration on 17 agility on 18 so is his balance he can jump but he's got no head in but he does have the pace he is lacking in anticipation but you can't have it all can you so what we're going to do we're going to sign him for rb leipzig we're going to play three seasons and we're going to see how he does in this version of football manager 2021 before we get started if you like this content if you like what we are doing make sure you subscribe make sure you leave a comment and like this video let's get started so we have simmed three years or three seasons into the future we are now in june 2023 and as you can see in the first season we bought maxim to calco for 1.4 million literally dirt cheap but what he achieved <laughs> is absolutely incredible what he achieved here at leipzig is nothing short of fantastic so let's check his profile and check what he has actually achieved so, in the first season, he managed to play 47 games, scoring 42 goals in all competitions, 
7 of those were penalties, he grabbed 14 assists and 30 man of the match awards, grabbing only one yellow card, absolutely crazy. But his average rating for that season was on 7.42 in all competitions. His second season, it started to get a little better. He played 51 games, scoring 46 goals and scoring 5 penalties. 18 assists with 11 player of the match awards, grabbing 6 yellow cards this season and getting an average rating of 7.53. But in the final season, the first season is his best season. He scored more goals than he played. So he played 54 games but scored 56 goals incredible scoring nine penalties getting 11 assists 12 man of the match awards and only four yellow cards with a 7.6 average rating in all competitions so this guy is a world beater he's absolutely fantastic has he progressed much we will check so he hasn't really progressed like crazy his anticipation has gone up by a lot though it started on if i move positioning it started on five it is now on nine so that progressed very quickly his off the ball went from 14 to 16 so he is progressing at a decent rate but already you can tell that he is just a fantastic player now he is similar to harland apart from the fact that he can't header his dribbling is very poor and he can't really pass at all with low anticipation but apart from that he reminds me of Haaland with his crazy physical attributes and his mental attributes aren't too bad with crazy, crazy finishing. Give this guy a one-on-one, -on -one, he's hardly going to miss. And if he's noticed that his player traits, he managed to develop some player traits within the three years. Now he knocks the ball past opponents, probably because of his poor dribbling and he places shots, probably because of his high finishing he is currently wanted by liverpool he's valued now at 74 million pound he is earning 185 thousand pound a week now now we really wished he could have earned some of that in real life but in the save off football manager he has done excellent now if we check his awards because i know he has won awards so we go to his milestones so you can see that he's won the, he won the dfb pokal he won the bundesliga he was the super cup runner up he got his first international goal for Belarus against Hungary at the age of 20. He won the DFB Pokal again and the Bundesliga. Well, he's won it three times in three years, but he's also won the Champions League. Wow. So we're going to check his personal awards. In 2020, he won the Golden Boy. So he had a very good 2020. In 2021, he's got a lot of awards. And the most notable ones is the 2020-2021 Next Gen Award. German Footballer Award, Supporters Player of the Year, Germans Player, Player of the Year, the Bundesliga top goal score. He's won a lot here. European Champions Cup Golden Boots, so I think that's the Champions League. He was in the Dream Team as well, the Golden Shoe he won, the Under-21s Men's Player he's won. So if we check, well he's won that twice I think. Yep, he's won that two times in a row. And for the European Golden Boy, he's also won that two times in a row. So this guy is having a career of his lifetime. But he's also won plenty of minor awards, such as Supporters Player of the Year. He's probably won that every single year. But he has won Best Player in Europe. Now, he beat Mbappe and Kevin De Bruyne to that award, playing for Leipzig. So, not biggest club with the highest reputation on the game. So, he done fairly well to beat Mbappe and Kevin De Bruyne. Well, he did score 56 goals in 53 games. So he turned out to be very, very good. If you want Maxim Sakalko in your saves, then make sure you download this database. And lastly for this video, just to give you an idea of why Maxim was so good on Championship Manager 2001-2002, there was an interview with the man who discovered the legend. In February 2013, Antonio Putillo was in charge of selecting stats for the Belarus players on championship manager and here is why he gave a bunch of stats worthy of legendary status quote i was young then i believe football in belarus has a future so there were no restrictions on the percentage you could put on the player he told gazetta i love Takalka very much he was quick he had a sense of goal and in small classes he's shown he had everything he needed to become a class aggressor it was also international, so I put him in a high degree of reputation, one of the most important elements of whether the player would be available in all tournaments in the game. 
Suddenly, the forums had fired. You could get him with little money, he'd guarantee you a goal in almost every game. So to be fair to Patillo, you can understand why he rated Takalko so highly. At the age of 16, he scored 17 goals in 27 games for Dynamo Minx Academy side. Then, after being promoted to the first team, the talented striker would bag 24 goals in a relatively successful four-year spell in the Belarusian Premier League. Now, that quote and statistic was referenced from sportsbible.com. And at the end of this football manager test, <laughs> he is an icon now for Leipzig, is truly one of world football's global superstars. He made 31 appearances and only scored three goals for his country. Sakalko has made great strides in his short career to date, currently has made 99 league appearances and has scored 98 league goals. So, that sums up to Cal Cole's Football Manager 2021 career. Make sure you get this database. I hope we have done his name justice by doing this video as this is a tribute to the man, to the legend himself. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I will see you soon. Don't forget if you do like this content to subscribe, to like this video and also comment. I'll see you soon. Peace out and stay safe.